All right, we have an air circuit here with all of its devices controlling a cylinder based upon pneumatic devices being stroked through uh, basically uh, a simple uh, lever on a arm that triggers a valve to shift. And that will shift the direction of the actual flow of air. This down here at the very bottom is the air cutoff for the whole system. So if I were to turn the air off, no air is flowing through the system whatsoever. With that being said, there's no potential for the air to shift the cylinder up here any further. Now, if I turn the air back on right here, and I allow the air to flow backwards, which if it makes the limit switch on the backside, allows the power to flow through the valve down here and go back to the other switch, uh, which allows the power, as soon as that's made from the stroke outward, then it will allow the system to flow backwards. You can simply watch the illustration just by and, and learn how the system works by uh, spring oper operated. So everything is spring operated back. Uh, the two limit switches are spring operated, meaning they only depress when the cylinder is out or the cylinder is in. So to keep in mind, this back spring right here will indicate that it is a spring loaded device. So it, when it's suppressed, it will hold that position as long as this, something is pressing it. Otherwise, it will spring back. Um, that is a simple illustration of an uh, air system using its own pneumatic devices to control a, a simple scenario. Now, this is, uh, system down here is a uh, pilot-operated uh, valve, which means once the device is made, it will come down here and power the, de the pilot and shift this valve down to the other. That is uh, actually what's controlling the cylinder back and forth. This uh, pilot operated valve right here, which is P41, right? So this right here is the actual control for the cylinder stroke itself. But what is actually the two devices that are being used for that stroke to indicate that, that actually uh, control the pilot operated valve are spring loaded. And each one of these spring loaded devices are just merely limit switches uh, that get made. And then as soon as they get made, they pilot operate the valve down here and that allows it to control the cylinder. Very, very, very simple circuit, but one that you can learn from and understand, especially with the cutoff, air cutoff down here, the system is completely still and it does work. So hopefully with this simple illustration, you learned a lot by this simple video. And again, I'm trying to produce very short videos that show you the, con the very simple scenarios and circuitry to get your, your brain opening to how things work and the potential of things so that you understand what you're looking at when you're looking at a circuit just like this or something similar. So with that said, hopefully you learned a lot from this video and we'll see you guys on the next one.